All right. Okay. This is it. This is the big one, huh? All right, you guys. You already know who it is. Your host with the most, Kensu. New video, new Guilty Gear chit chat. This one, I know people have been waiting on for quite some time. Some people have probably been sitting at my channel, subscribing, unsubscribing, waiting to see when I'm gonna put this one out. And uh, obviously, if you read the title, this is gonna be my thoughts about Chip and the Strive, uh, and the current Strive beta that we played previously. There is a new one on the way. I wanted to, uh, I guess, so this is gonna be my thoughts on Chip as of open beta two. I know that there is an open beta three on the way. Um, so let me go ahead and open this with why the delay? Why take so long to put this out? Why didn't you put this out right away, Kenzo? Why we were waiting for this for months and you didn't blah, 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 right? So one of the biggest reasons why I chose not to put this out immediately after the beta was over with was uh, honestly because I wanted to take a step back, look at a lot of footage, see who was doing what, see what combos were out there, see what different things I could have been missing out on because there definitely was a lot of things that I was missing and I'm not going to sit and act like I was not missing some of these things, specifically combos, right? Like I'm beating people in my match videos you guys have seen here and even my little highlight reel I put out. You know, I'm beating people, like I'm just outsmarting people. I'm not really, I'm not hitting them as hard as I could had I known the combos. Now, granted, this is also a beta. I didn't just spend all my time just, you know, mashing out combos. I tried to play against a lot of people as much as I could and uh, obviously mash out certain things that I think were necessary, like anti-airing. Like I tried to hash out like the, my basics without having to be so concerned about posting the next Twitter tech or the next, I mean, it's a beta, right? When I say Twitter tech, like the next combo, like I just let other people do that because I'd rather focus on my strategy because combos are combos, right? Like you're gonna utilize combos to do damage regardless. So regardless of who comes up with the combo, it didn't really matter to me, right? But the main reason why I said before is why it took me a little while is because I really wanted to just isolate time to look at what I was missing and see what I could be doing better, even in my own matches. Like I have a slew of matches that I was watching and comparing to what other players were doing combo wise, etc., etc., to see how I could apply those things in different situations. So that would be why there was a delay, not to mention Apex. But with that being said, in all honesty, I think it's about time I tell you guys how I really feel about them. And I'm gonna be isolating each section, so just hear me out. This might be a little long, so if you got time, grab some popcorn and uh, what have you, whatever you're eating, sit tight, pull up a drink, pull up a chair, turn it up, because we got a lot to cover. So, <clears throat> I wanna go ahead and, uh, I think I wanna go ahead and start here with uh, what Chip doesn't have. Because this is like the biggest common complaint and to some extent, I'm not going to front some of what I might say might be a bit brash. It might be annoying. You might not want to hear it. It might be like, ah, oh, you think you're too good, but hear me out. This might piss some people off. I won't front. So clearly there are a lot of people who are upset about Chip losing his teleport. Am I upset about Chip losing his teleport? Honestly, not anymore. I would say maybe when he was first announced and I didn't see it, I was a little concerned and I assumed that the new Alpha Blade was the new teleport and it actually is. But on one front, one will complain that the, you know, the absence of teleport really sucks. You know, I don't have my way to get around things. I can't move around the screen, blah, 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 right? But a lot of what I have discovered about playing him recently is that it's kind of like going back to, for me in particular, going back to Guilty Gear XX chip. And I know on one front you can say, well, he has teleport in that game. Well, his teleport didn't have, you know, great recovery either. And while they were good, they were not anywhere near as amazing as like Axon Core. Actually, from Slash, Axon Core, Axon Core plus R, Xer, like his teleports were just absolutely like phenomenal. You know, they were really, really great tools. 
in this game they chose to take that away from him from what i can tell because it would be almost in a sense too easy to win with him now of course they can leave him there and have crap recovery and then you would just complain that the recovery sucks you know and these are the things i kind of had to sit back and look at because i'm like well what made them really good in previous guilty gear iterations was the fact that it was attached to 25 bar so you have 25 bar you frc and you know older guilty gear or you yrc and excerpt and it's like well we're in there now you know yrc you did something dumb lol you know teleport yrc lol and that's what a big complaint a lot of people used to have about shit and i'm definitely the one to tell you that like it's not as bad as people make it out to be because it costs 25 bar there is damage scaling attached to what he does prior to afterwards but his reward is still there and that's something to be you know that's something you can't like turn a blind eye to so in a sense in a lot of ways it's really really strong and the way that they design strive you know meter usage is you know at 50 percent it's not at 25 percent so him being able to go for that one thing at 50 percent doesn't really while it would be really good his reward could be really low you know especially when people have the ability to like spend 50 bar to like reverse that situation right by popping it back themselves by art by just neutral rc just outright you know and they can time stop you you know it's like that's kind of kind of counterproductive in addition to blue rc in general having the time stop against other people like just using it to slow them down like that's arguably in my honest opinion better and greater than just having a teleport outright because you can just run in and be like pop did you do something? Yes. Okay. You're slowed down. Now I get to whiff punish you for a big counter hit, you know, stun and all kinds of stuff. Like it's, it was pretty interesting seeing like the, the, the options that he had with just using just his meter in that regard, you know, cause that was something people weren't really looking at. Like that blue RC is pretty nuts and teleport plus blue RC would probably be way too good. If you really think about it, it would probably be way too good, especially if they made the recoveries like really good, right? Where his recovery on the teleport wouldn't be nearly as bad. He can just teleport, run underneath you and pop it. And it's like your character just kind of stuck there. And, you know, as I guess you can look at it as like everyone universally has the ability to time stop like the other world though. And or like, you know, Axel's, you know, one vision, you know, everyone has access to that. So like when you think about that and on one front, you can say it's not that good. But when you really think about it, how fast Chip is and the ability to just run in and just be like, what'd you do? That's pretty scary. You know, and then with the way that they're doing meterless damage now, it's pretty high. And while I do believe Blue RC does add some scaling on the on your punish, you know, in some cases it could be a counter hit, and that that's gonna force him to burst. So when you think about like the overall game system, him having a teleport could just be overall just too good. Now, one front we know that like Alpha Blade is the new teleport. Alpha Blade is slow, especially the P P, P Alpha Air and Ground is kind of slow. I do think that that is sort of an issue, but you know, K alpha is like the new thing. And it's like, you basically have a teleport that has an attack attached to it. And it does lead to some really good situations for chip in a nutshell. So in essence, he doesn't truly need the teleport. I think that there was a heavy reliance on it before. I know on one front you can say, oh, shut up, dude. Like chips always had this. Why should he have to lose it? Well, you know, think about it from the overall scheme of things. Like this could just be outright too good. He could just be the best character in the game just because he could do that alone. You know, if you, if you think about it this way, right? If someone double jumps on you, right? They jump and they double jump and you K teleport and you run underneath them because K teleport has the furthest distance and you K teleport past them and you run underneath them. You're, you're completely at his mercy. So like his, like his ability to anti you, you know, like that is pretty scary. You think about a character like Nagaryuki with a 10 frame super jump and he's just like, whatever, <laughs> you know, he can run at you and just pop it as well. You know, so like that in itself is already hard enough to react to. And you want to add this to it. It's not, it's not good. I think it's, it's, it's too strong. It's, I think it would be outright just too strong. Um, I understand every chip player's point of view about losing it because this is coming like I'm probably the longest chip player, longest running chip player for the longest time, right? Like I know how it feels to lose this teleport. It's not, it's not unheard of, right? But I will go out on a limb and say that like I've 
grown used to playing him without the teleports so like for me in particular and I, i'm not trying to like make myself seem like i'm larger than life here but like i'm just so used to him not i'm so used to not playing with it that it doesn't hinder me right um in all honesty and i've said this before even on my streams i feel like chip is more akin to yosuke from persona you know you, you kind of have to play it that way you know you're a speedster but you don't have access to like a teleport true like a true teleport but you have other ways to like catch up to them and a lot of what yosuke's design is is kind of centered around chip and i've always said this before that like chip and yosuke like yosuke and persona is essentially like chip's son <laughs> you know you can even play him in bb tag and you'll see that it, a lot of it is kind of similar you know some of the moves are pretty similar like the air kunai the the run is considered in my opinion alpha blade you know yeah he doesn't have a teleport but he has so many ways to like move around you you know his mobility is like really the thing that like, that's his lifeline you know if you think about it chip's triple jump is like the equivalent to yosuke's flips i can go on and on with the comparisons but like the bottom line is you have to utilize your movement and your ability to like you know displace people you know make them get a little like man i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't like this 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 annoying fly stuff you're doing i'm gonna come in there and try to swat you he has the ability to really play that really good cat and mouse game essentially right so at the end of the day what i'm trying to get at here with the loss of teleport and the comparison to yosuke is that you have to use what you have you crying about what you don't have isn't going to make you a better chip player it's just going to make you a bitter chip player and not a better chip player so don't be bitter work on what he's got and find ways to utilize his kit better because i know i sure as hell have and i'm still looking forward to learning to make his kit work better so i think that's kind of enough on what he doesn't have because i think this i think that is probably the biggest complaint of like every other chip player that i've seen so i guess the shortest answer and with with all the due respect in the world it's like just just get good you have to adjust you know you don't really have a choice if you intend to play strive and you intend to play chip you just have to adjust to what he has currently that's his kit that's his kit they may update it later he may get teleport he may not but in this first iteration of the game currently as it stands who knows maybe beta 3 they're like here chip now has teleport and everyone will be happy again right but if he doesn't right and even on full release even if he doesn't you got to play him the way he is and if that's too troublesome for you you can always pick another character so i know that was kind of like a tough pill to swallow i know some of that at the end may seem a little like harsh but like it's really true like you just have to if that's what you intend to play get good there's no two ways about it uh now i've knocked that out the way i felt like that was a good talking point a nice little stop stopping point there that's a little long but let's talk about what he does have and other things in which i've discovered right so what he does have is his core gameplay is still there right he's still the fastest character in the game still has a pretty solid four punch or 6p if you will his entire game is pretty okay but something i want to talk about is which is his entire game right i think his entire game in terms of damage is a little so frustrating uh his his four punch is good but the way that they get hit is really awkward for an anti-air right certain characters were a lot easier to anti-air like potemkin nagaryuki with the super jump you know etc etc but the other characters had a difficult time anti-airing it was really annoying but the my my biggest concern is his ability to convert off of it was kind of kind of weak and you can do four punch into gamma barring how far they got hit you know if it's closer to the character he could get something other times he didn't or he could forward punch into k alpha blade but it mostly really worked on big characters so like one of my complaints about him was really that and uh come to find out in the later half of the beta i learned that his standing heavy slash was actually super good as anti-air but the problem with that is is you know the startup is a bit tricky to hit someone with on top of like the angle right so even though they're getting counter hit with a high counter because of heavy it's still harder to convert off of which is why you know one thing i thought would be really cool for him to have is the dash cancel similar to giovanna and soul i think if he had dash cancel 6p or dash cancel stand heavy or forward punch for you guys early on 6p if he had dash cancelable on that i think that would help his combo game in that regard it would also help his pressure because i think um we're going to attack this in two ways, you know, combos and pressure. It helps convert, right? It helps make the single hit counter hit like work, you know, 
This way you can dash cancel and do something. Or what would be really neat is if they maybe extended the tumble because even on grounded hit, on counter hit, like it can tumble, but like you have no way to really catch up. You can super, which is always, you know, a good option, but I think they're trying really hard to make supers a lot more prevalent and I'm okay with that. But I think with the dash cancel, even if you lower the damage a little bit, it, I don't think that'd be too bad. You know, I'm not saying lower it down to the point to where chip doesn't do any damage at all, but just enough, you know what I mean? To make it worth it. Cause right now, 6P anti-air, 6P counter hit grounded, is really difficult to convert off of. And in my experience, I'm sure that once the game fully comes out, we'll find more and more answers and more ways to utilize this, this button. But I think that was like a big concern I had. Uh, what's his entire game and the consistency of his entire game. Now, going back to, you know, conversions, right? I felt like his combo schema was a little rough. Like I've definitely gone out on a limb and I've had my, I won't even call it complaints, but my little like, it's kind of like a, come on, son. You know, when I see characters like Nagaryuki who have a way to stabilize their combo with 5K, you know, it'll, like, oh, my combo's going weird, 5K, 5K. Okay, we're stabilized. Okay, now let's continue. Whereas the chip doesn't really have that luxury. Now, on one front, it can be seen as complaining because it's like, well, you know, why are you complaining? Like he has combos, he does. And that was something that, you know, I saw in some of the comments in my videos from my matches. Some people are like, you know, I'm really shocked that you're winning without combos. It's like, well, it's not that I'm not trying to do these combos. It's just his combos were fairly inconsistent. Like a lot of his combos require run momentum or like, you know, it didn't hit Milia or it doesn't combo on Leo, which still boggles me that like, you know, you couldn't combo the same B and B. Like, for example, I would look at a B and B on Twitter, right? And it's done on Soul, it's done on Kai, it's done on Nagaryuki, like big characters. And then you try them on Mei, you know, Milia, Leo, for whatever reason, like doesn't get hit by those same conversions. So it's like, damn, dude, I have to readjust my combo and I haven't practiced the readjustment for that character. So he had character specific combos from his 2H. So for example, close slash 2H, uh, far slash 2S. So far slash, oh no, close slash, crouching slash, into crouching heavy slash, K alpha blade, and then it was kick into instant air dash, kick dust, right? That was like his meterless combo, right? Give or take. That does not hit million. That did not hit May 100%, if I recall right. You needed like, there's these peculiar things. So it's like, you're watching me play and then, you know, they're like, ah, oh, you're not hitting combos. It's like, yeah, because this required run momentum. Like some combos require chip to have run momentum to, to stay next to them. So you can land the combo. Others didn't really matter. But then there's the hitboxes that come into play too. So you see what I'm saying? There's too many variables that came into play when just trying to be consistent with his combos. So like other characters, like their combos were pretty easy to get into and just stay stable where his combos require you to really, really, really know how to land them. Because every, look, I'm telling you guys straight up and down from experience. It's very easy to watch a combo on Twitter and be like, all right, cool, I'm gonna go for that. And you go for it and it misses, you know, because the people who are making the combos, and it's no offense to them, you know, they're not worried about like, whether or not this, I don't know, not always everyone's worried about whether or not it hits in a match, right? But like, no one's taking into consideration run momentum, you know, the hitbox, you know, you'll hear like, you'll, you'll read oh, optimal B and B, oh, optimal, optimal, optimal. It's like, it's optimal when your opponent is standing still. When your opponent is not standing still and you have to actually hit them, that's not like viable. It's not always the best choice. You see what I'm saying? And it really was frustrating to play him. And sometimes in a sense, read the comments, like you're not doing combos. And it's like, man, if only you understood that like, this was very difficult, like to do in a match. Because when the dummy stands still, it's easy to land that same combo. But like, he's not always going to be in that situation to always land that proper, that clean hit to give you that. Even if you landed it from a jump in, there's still a bit, like Chip's pushback on his combos was like, it's wicked, man. So like, and a lot of the times too, you know, which I'll get into this briefly, his jumping heavy slash didn't have as much hits done as it should. You know, so sometimes you'll hit them with the jumping heavy slash and they'll mash throw or they'll mash jab or they'll they'll do super or something. And you don't, it looks like you have a lot of hits done, but you don't. So it's like, man, I wish it was as simple as like hit dummy with this. My, my opponent is now training dummy. I hit my live opponent this way and I always get this combo. Like it just didn't always work that way. So I found his combo schema just a little 
a little annoying to go for and it changed a little bit from the previous beta because he used to be able to do i believe sweep record into overhead kick and that was always a combo they took that away. if i feel like they took that away from them in open beta 2 correct me if i'm wrong people uh but i remember that being a combo and like him losing that was really like frustrating it's like damn i cannot why i can't do this you know that's why I'm hoping, um, at least in the future, one thing I am hoping for is he can do sweep Rekka into overhead kick or bonsai kick and like convert. Or they kind of just make it so it's a little bit easier for him to do some of his combos or like juggle. Because I, again, going back to his combos, his juggles were just super weird. They required instant air dashes off of a lot of places. So having that dash button was important. And if he didn't do it right, or just, his combo schema was very inconsistent in a lot of ways. And I even noticed that with Giovanna in some cases, but even then hers was fairly consistent in comparison to chip so yeah like that was very very frustrating um but moving on i do feel like the dash cancels would just help him out and that would like make the pressure more unique and i think that should be the case for a lot of other characters but we'll talk about that later i don't feel like his buttons were necessarily bad i think he got one button toned down that I think a lot of people who don't like Chip are happy for is, you know, they kind of nerfed Close Slash. The close Slash was kind of a slow button. And uh, while I'm okay with it and I've grown used to it, I think it really stinks that it's negative enough on block to where you cannot, uh, it's negative enough on block to where if you don't do anything, they can just press a button and punish you. But it kind of goes into a lot of the design choice of the game. So it's kind of like a, a catch 22 in a sense. It's it's okay and it's not okay. Like it's okay because this is the first Guilty Gear where the delay cancel windows for normals is, is really large. Like there's a big emphasis on counter hitting in Strive. Like this is on the level of like Blaze Blue type stuff. Cause last I recall, right? Blaze Blue has some pretty sizable cancel windows, right? Or even on the, uh, the notion if you ever played Dragon Ball, you ever play Bardock for that matter, like Bardock's buttons, when you try to slow press them or like stagger them, like they're pretty big windows with which were which he can stagger. So I feel like this is a lot of the same case with Strive. So it makes a lot of things be a little bit more deliberate when you want to counter hit somebody. But again, this goes back to what I said about him having the ability to dash cancel, because I feel like the dash cancel would make it that much greater for him to actually do damage. Um, you know, it's just another way for him to keep up. So if he frame traps you with a 6P, you know, you should lose some kind of damage. Because right now, going back to a 6P, sadly, in his combo schema, like, Alpha Blade's not fast enough to combo off the tumble. You know, you can super, but if you don't have super, you don't get anything. You can gamma, and the gamma is okay, but it doesn't always hit properly. Like, it'll hit, but, like, if you delay it too long, it might not hit. There are, yeah, it, there are just so many things. And even if it does hit, you do get to run up, but it's still not super amazing. It is it is good in the corner, I won't front. Like, you can combo from it, and it is kind of difficult, but it can also lead to a nice mix-up situation. But I do feel like while the reward for you is to actually gain ground, I think it would be that much better for him to be able to at least do something off of the tumble because it's kind of weird that some other characters have tumble and they're able to combo from it but he hits you with the tumble move and like you just you're, you get nothing so i think that would also help so going and that's more towards his combo scheme right um other things i should talk about gamma blade right now because i know this is probably a question i know you're probably waiting for me to talk about gamma blade so let me go ahead and be honest with you guys i think the new gamma blade is good i think the problem with it is is he does not deserve to take damage I think it's very saddening to see that Nago Ryuki has a move similar to it and it's just better <laughs> like it's just outright better like there's no two ways about it we can make the argument and I know some people play Nago Ryuki you probably watch this to see it and be like oh well it cost me the blood gauge dude come on man and there's like risk reward behind it I'm like yeah and on, on one front it's like yeah sure there's risk reward behind it but like he gets to follow up off of it, you know, whether or not you can kind of jump away from it. If he catches you sleep at the wheel, like he can do things off of it, you know. Chip doesn't really get that luxury, which I think is kind of unfortunate. And I did mention this a long time ago. I think it would be cool if he had both versions of Gamma, where he would one throw the clone and the other one would be the actual projectile. Because there is merit to Gamma Blade actually being special cancelable from a normal now. Like, I think that is a huge change for Chip, but like him dying for using it. 
I think that's a little unfair. He doesn't deserve to die off of it. It's one thing if you hit him and the clone goes away and he may take like a 5p worth of damage. Like a, like if he took damage, it should be some kind of something consistent, not just like, well, you lose the game just for going for this. I think it is a little unfair, but I guess they're, but it's kind of weird, right? Because their justification is, hey, you know, the clone is an extension of you and you decided to use this move in a block stream. And right now, Strive, a lot of people press a lot of buttons on block. It's a beta. It's understandable. That'll probably change in time, right? But like, and it's really hard to react to Gamma Blade, so it's not act like you're gonna react to it 100%. But like in the instance that people are just trying to kind of mash you out and not care, you know, they're gonna mash that super out. And if that super hits Chip and the clone, like he's pretty much dead. So I really think that they should adjust that like to whatever capacity. Goes back to the dash cancels. You know, Nagaryuki can throw his out and do his special dash out of it. And like, he can wreck a cancel a lot of his stuff. So it's like. Okay. Can we not can we can we at least try to like give Chip something that's just as good? Because the plus frames he gets off of it, I believe, are like only like plus one, which is still good, but like it's not enough to deter somebody, right? I think it was a little bit more plus in the first beta, actually. This beta doesn't feel it doesn't feel I believe it was like plus one. So it's like that plus one is not enough to like really deter somebody. You need something a little bit higher, like a plus three or a plus four or something. Because an old Guilty Gear is plus five. Now, I'm not really saying that it should be plus five. You can make it plus four. You can make it plus three. But I think plus one for such a move at that risk, you know, at, at such a high risk. Like, they literally turned Gamma Blade into a high risk. I re it's like a high risk move. Like, the ability to RC it and, like, they hit the clone and you can counter hit them. Like, it turns into this really cool, I guess, counter poke game with it where you want to hit him. You know, and I feel that was kind of like the, the design philosophy behind it was, hey, maybe it would be cool if Chip could use his clone, bait people from the RC and force them into trying to hit the clone, do the damage and punish him so he can punish them. That is essentially a, the meta behind it. It's kind of like dealing with Little Eddie, right? But except for Little Eddie just goes away and Chip just dies for this. Like Zato's extension of him is Eddie, but you hit Eddie and Zato doesn't die. You know, he doesn't like lose HP for it. He just loses Eddie. So I feel like this is a lot of the same kind of thing. And it's like, I get it, but I think it's still a little unfair. He just should not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stress it again. He should not be taking like ridiculous damage on his clone just because he decided to use it. It's kind of, it's pretty unfair. So the part of it using with meter and him not taking damage is fine, but that's 50 bar to go for something like that, you know? I feel like at the at, as the game progresses, you're not gonna wanna do that. Like, people will see that he has 50 meter and they know that he might try to bait you. So like, it's like, it's almost like them giving him like an, a YRC slash FRC gimmick and like saying, go for it, you know? Like, this is, this is how you should be using it. And it's like, who wants to die for using that, you know? So it make, it kinda takes Gamma Blade out of the equation from your strings even though you can still use it and still throw it in there to keep people honest, like I'd rather take the risk using leaf throw than throwing out a gamma, you know, to be honest, um, or even throwing out K alpha blade, you know, in a string to try to frame trap, which leads me to that move. K alpha blade is really, really good. I would say K alpha is probably the best thing about chip right now, like 100%. It is the best thing, air and ground. Like it is such a good frame trap tool on the ground, it punishes so many things on counter hit you get pretty good damage off of it can't wait to mess with it some more but like it's the it's 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 the new teleport you know it's a teleport that has an attack behind it and your rewards are good it puts you in the air it lets you still have air mobility you it's it's a really good move i do think that while that is his new bread and butter like that's his new teleport i do think that they should probably either a consider widening the hitbox for it for to make his combos more consistent with that or making it faster because i know on one front it's already really fast and i don't really think that's too much of a problem but like a couple frames wouldn't hurt you know i'm trying to find a good way like and i'm saying this because i think there has to be a way to compensate for like his, the inconsistency of it hitting because like the movement itself is really cool it's i love the animation for it man it's, yeah but like he just it's just the hitbox for it is so it's pretty narrow 
And it goes back to the anti stuff I was talking about, you know, 6P and K Alpha should be his anti combo. It should lead into that. But because the box for it isn't as large and it's kind of slow, like it's it's like I swear, man, it's like it's fast, but it's not fast. It's it's like it's literally like the like the right speed, but like the, the hitbox for it just doesn't work, you know? So that's why I feel like one or the other should should change, you know. If you want to keep it at that like hitbox, then speed it up to make sure he can like consistently confirm. You know, and I feel like that way for the air version as well, like that, that one is really, really good too. But even like, and for some reason or other, the air version feels like the box on that one's a lot larger than the other version, which I could be wrong, but I don't have a hitbox viewer and the PC version's not out yet. So shout out to us when we get that, right? But at the end of the day, like he, in, in, in regards to K Alpha Blade, like it's there, like it's really good, but P Alpha Blade, I feel like is, it's a good move and a bad move. Like they they've been trying to make that move good for years, and every time they make it good, it's like it's not as good. You know, mostly when they would adjust Alpha, they would mix, they would fix Alpha Blade Plus, which is be the follow up, and this is like the first game he doesn't have that in a long time, rather, and it's like hmm. It's not really fast because people definitely will mash you out. The good thing is it does lead to good mix up in the corner if you can condition them because a lot of chip is low well, conditioning them and utilizing alpha blade in the corner is great. But like in the mid screen, you can use it to try to trick people up. You can RC to try to fake it out and get people to use their reversals. But you have to have meter to make that a thing and then you get the counter hit damage and whatnot. So like there is a meta strategy behind using the alpha blade air and ground for the the punch versions but the aerial punch version i feel like is only going to be really good for mix-up right now because it's not fast enough to combo into in a lot of cases so that that one is uh mm, mm. i kind of want them to readjust the air alpha air p alpha just a little bit just to give it a little bit more utility because I feel like a lot of the things what comes down to chip is like he's really good but like he's missing some utility like the base of the character is fine it's just the kit while it works together there are some weak points of the kit that I think they can just round out a bit better to make him more solid right to make him just good enough to like continue playing right now of course there is one thing that is kind of annoying and that is chips jumping dust I think Chip's Jumping Dust is really good and also really bad at the same time. Like, it's a kind of middle of the road type button. It's still really good, but it doesn't give him a good reward on counter hit anymore. And that was like one of his best buttons. And I understand a lot of people didn't like the button because, oh, you got all this damage. Da, 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 da. I get it. It's pretty annoying. You didn't like deal with it. Blah, 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 blah. Got it. But it's also one of his lifeline normals, you know? And right now, the counter hit state, even. If you hit them with it, like it's your follow up sometimes are too slow to really make it worthwhile. You know, no counter hit tumble, in my honest opinion. I'm not gonna front, I think it's pretty, I think that's that that really sucks. I've grown used to not having the tumble and getting the counter hit state is good, but like it also stems into what I mentioned about K Alpha Blade in the air being a little bit faster. If you can do counter hit jump dust into K Alpha, like that'd be great because that would allow him to convert. You know, if the move was a little bit faster or the box was a bit better or the hip or the counter hit hits them was a little bit higher, something just enough for him to land that. And I think I, I thought that that would be a great, you know, conjunction for him. But then again, the RC system kind of helps make the jump dust a little bit more viable than what it previously was, because in a sense, if he just had the tumble, I'm looking at it from two perspectives. So hear me out. So on one front, if he has the tumble that lets him combo you know, he can do a little bit more damage. He can corner you and it's all good to go, right? It's all, it's all honky dory good, right? On the flip side to that, if it doesn't, since it, since it doesn't have that, right? Converting off it, as I mentioned before, too high can be, is really difficult, but you can mitigate that by spending the meter to ensure you get the guarantee confirmed. On one front, spending meter for a jump in to land big damage feels kind of, mm. it doesn't, it doesn't feel good to do that it doesn't mean that i wouldn't do it or we shouldn't do it as chip players i just think that it kind of 
it kind of sucks that we're that we're kind of forced into the situation from a jump in to spend meter to make it count you can press 5p to ensure that you may land this hit but like if you miss if you miss you could probably get thrown you get punished to whatever capacity and it really it, it just takes away from the move having that counter hit advantage so that's what i'm saying like i think they should either increase the hit stun of it or if they're not going to do that then again i think air k alpha could be a bit faster to confirm you know you can like boom you can you can two and one it like jump dust and go into it you know you see it boom go you know this way it makes it a little bit more substantial and you can get a little bit you can get a little bit of damage off of it like i said a lot of the times like these 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 things are like more quality of life things that i feel like could help him out versus like this is why i don't really care for teleport i want these things to work better you know if these things work better then teleport isn't as necessary you know because right now his jump in is on all, in all honesty it's really just jumping heavy slash jumping slash is really good too plays like old guilty gear which is great has a nice box to it but like there's no box underneath him it's only on the sides so he's forced to jump in with h and jump dust a little bit more and while these buttons are good like i said before sometimes the hit stun on it isn't really high so like and he has nothing to really go into it you can do shuriken but like the shuriken doesn't really give you much you know you probably have to just something into rc you know so again it's it's unique in the sense that he has to spend meter or he may have to spend meter to make these jump ins more substantial but i think it's i think it kind of takes away from him because i don't i didn't really see too many other characters really doing jump ins and then being like all right cool now i'm gonna rc and get this confirmed no they're jumping in and getting like full-on bnbs even after a jump so it's, it's almost like a testament to what we i used to see in the back in the day like you see like a combo video they'll do like chip jump ins and then rc and then do stuff and it's like it's kind of ugly man <laughs> but you know i'm not gonna front if that's what we got to do that's what we got to do as chip players like it is what it is if that's how we got to convert that's how we got to convert that's just that's just that's just that now there are other things in which i want to talk about coming back to anti airs just to go back to it real fast chips crouching heavy slash was a good anti air and this goes back to K alpha blade you know as well just not having consistent like gosh man there are other combos you can go for from 2h counter hit you can do crouching heavy counter hit with Rekka and then kind of go from there but like i think it would be cool if they just let you use k alpha blade just to convert and make everything just work because that's kind of like the new thing so i feel like they should go back to what i said about 6p like you should just have it like this should just be a thing you know 6p counter hit k alpha blade kick air dash kick dust 2h k alpha blade kick air dash kick dust that should be a staple those those should be staple bnbs for your anti airs for any given situation from against pretty much the entire cast you know because it, it makes it so like you jumping on chips it should not be free it should not it should you should you should be deterred most characters should get some kind of anti air combo like kai gets a pretty consistent anti air combo if you jump at him same for soul you know so i feel like having something that's reliable for your anti is great other than that i feel like um his air shuriken is good and bad i don't really know why they want to basically not leave it the way it was like it was like fine when you had the slow one and then the fast one i think it was okay to have to get rid of one to have the other one because it would you know that's something you had to keep up with and i don't think that that was a problem personally but right now with the current way it is it's not bad it's actually pretty good but like my issue with it is and why i say it's like it's good and it's bad this is a big problem with chip in a nutshell like he's got a lot of good things but they're also kind of bad at the same time the bad thing is is that he's in counter hit state for a long period of time there were many matches i'd play in the beta and just like use the air shuriken and then just next thing i know i'm getting counter hit i'm like dude my man threw this shuriken like ages ago why is he in counter hit state all the way down like it really stinks to use that move in that regard and still get counter hit for it like you deterred someone and it's like oh well, i'm still in counter hit state get smashed on which happened to me a lot you know but it opens up some other like strategy doors there, right? Where like they think you're gonna, you know, throw the shuriken so they run underneath to try to like get underneath you and try to punish you. 
comes back to using jump dust because jump dust is a great way to stop people from kind of coming at you or you can delay and talk to shuriken as well but you know i just don't understand why he's encountering state for like a millennia i think it's I, I do think that that's probably like the one move that I'm not I'm not too keen on. Like I like the move a lot, but at the same time I don't because of the counter hit state. Like it's good against the slow characters because like like you know Potemkin and Nago Ryuki because they just have to eat it because they're like slow. And Nago has a super jump, so it kind of makes it dare I say easy to kind of just keep him away with this move. And Shuriken doesn't do that much damage anyway, right? It's just a displacement tool. But like it really, really sucks when you go for it and like his recovery is like a millennia on top of him being in counter hit state. But on one front, you could say, well, can't you get good? You know, you were telling everyone else get good. Don't get me wrong. I definitely learned how to use it, but I just I think that they should reduce at least the counter hit state. They should take away the counter hit state like post toss. Like he throws it. He's in recovery. He's in counter hit state roughly till the way he goes down. Like it's you see what I'm saying? Like the problem is they're 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 making him too risky. They're making him in a, in a stage where like you have to do things and it's like it's okay to condition people but like you have to be conditioning in so many different ways that like all it takes is one risk to throw everything you know it, it takes someone to one good time to take make a big risk and it can throw away the whole match so you have to be like on your point like you, you pretty much have to be on point utilizing your entire kit while they're not like afraid and there was something i was concerned about like when I was playing, like some people just not like, and I had no problem showing people in my stream, you know, hey, you can smash him out here if he does this, you know, because right now I don't have a consistent answer. So if you're mashing, it's going to force me to find the answer, right? And that's kind of like the problem. Like, the issue I have is that he can get mashed out a lot. So, like, a lot of the cast members seem like a lot of their stuff is more airtight, whereas his, while it's airtight, it's just. This is the first time in a long time in Guilty Gear where I feel like people, it's like okay to take a, a big risk against them. Because it's kind of, since other other characters are not going to be in counter hit state all day long, like they do, like Chip is and his Shuriken, or in some of his other moves where like you, you like you would think it'd be counter hit state, but it's not. So it's like, why, why give him this extra counter hit state? Like, it's almost in a sense making him unne unnecessarily risky in, in cases. And it's, in, in, in a lot of ways, it kind of skews his risk reward because I think that's what a lot of people are really concerned about is Chip's overall risk reward, you know? And it's, it's, it is troubling, but I, I have faith that maybe they'll do something about that. But if they don't, you know, again, it is what it is. We just got to play around it. Um, That aside, other moves in his kit, that I think are really good, or is his command grab. His command grab, this is like the fastest version of his command grab like I've ever seen. Like it doesn't have um, strike properties, like anti-strike properties, like it is anti-strike and plus R, but it's really fast in this game. And that I'm really grateful for. He may not need the strike invincibility, but it's, it's, it's good that it's fast. And they definitely, every Guilty Gear, they always try to make that move better. And I would say, besides plus R, I would say this is probably... Actually, I would say plus R, Xrd, and now this version. Like, those are some of the best versions of his command grab. I think Xrd is probably, on my honest opinion, the best. Because, you know, he has the wall stuff where he can, you know... He can wall air throw you, you know, with the, with the leaf throw. Which is really, really neat. You know, he has one on the air and one on the ground. Like, that is... Leaps and bounds, scary. You know, the fact that he has a cross-up situation, he has, you know, a stay on the same size situation, he's got two command grabs. If he decides to jump, you know, he'll, you can read the jump and throw them. If they stay on the ground, you can read them there again. It's like great, great options. And I feel like this version of his leaf throw is really good and it leaves the opponent in a super good position for Chip. So I think that's one of the moves you should try to go for a little bit more. Especially since seeing as to how like uh, some characters need need meter, really really need meter to like do damage to him, if you're trying to go for it, you can still jump it and still try to punish him for it. But like it's not, it's not. I feel like the punishment right now isn't nearly as bad because of how fast the command grab is. So and you know you can command grab all kinds of things, and he's not considered on the ground with that, which is still nice. So that's why I say he doesn't really need strike invul. But if he gets it, you know, great. Um. 
So I think that's Kalfa and Leaf Thrower, two of his best moves. I feel like his Rekkas are okay. It's definitely a wonder why they got rid of Chinkiro or his lunge kick from his Rekkas. Because it was something I always wished that he had. He had like a, another record to go into to kind of help him do combos. And like them taking that away from him in this game, that's why I'm like, I don't know why they just don't give him like sweep record into a bonsai kick and then let him go from there. Um, let him get the ground bounce into something. You know, this way it, it it's something that he used to have in like older Guilty Gears. It's like, just let him have it. You know, let him rock. Like it, 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 it it's another way to kind of put the kit all together, you know? Now, there are other things that really make him good, you know, but as I said before, like, I don't want to make it seem like I don't understand his risk reward or like I'm, I'm downplaying his risk reward too much, you know, because he's still the fastest character in the game. You can still play super safe. You can still play, you can play him extremely limited and still come out on top, I feel, and strive. But I feel like to fully round out his kit, he doesn't need to be 100% safe, but his risk reward ratios could be adjusted just a bit just to fit in line with a lot of the cast members because some of the other cast members are just taking risks and just having a big ball doing big damage and i know on one front one would say chip doesn't have damage but i would disagree entirely chip does have some pretty devastating damage you know because there are other things that do make him good and i want to talk about those things too i know this is getting kind of long but it's because i just have a lot to say and this is why it took a while to like do this because I've I've been looking for all kinds of ways to condense this. And I, the more I look at it, I'm like, there's no way I can condense this. I'll do my best. Don't mind, mind you, I will do my best to edit this and make this more concise. But um, it's his pressure game is extremely good in the sense that his frame traps are some of the best he's ever had. You know, him since you know going into command normals off of anything is like a thing now. Primarily like close slash into forward heavy, far kick, you know, stand kick in the forward heavy. Like basically, you know, if it's a, if it's a command normal, you can link it from a, a general button minus like a crouching dust, right? And a standing dust. So him going close slash into forward heavy slash on counter hit, that forward heavy slash leads to what I believe a ground bounce. That's a lot. That's a huge counter hit starter. And if you decide to block it, his risk buildup is through the roof, you know? So his ability to crank risk is actually really high if you think about it and his frame trap game i think is some of the best in the game you know everyone has really good delay press buttons but i feel like even though he's delaying into 6p and to tumble he's still gaining real estate that's one of the biggest things about him he still gains real estate so like if he corners you i feel like if chip gets the corner in strive i feel like it's gonna be very difficult for the opponent to get out of course you can say that for any other character especially when they're doing damage from like their 6ps like a counter hit like that but his ability to gain ground and put you in the corner is really high. And I think outright his throw game is really good. Like this chip, like, and, and this is kind of like strive a nutshell, like strike throw is like the huge thing for this game. You know, strike throw, single hit confirms, like all those things are pretty huge. And like, these are skills you gotta kind of have to have. And that's why I say like, you could play a very, very basic chip and actually go far. Like you don't have to be like, I feel like in Strive, you don't have to be super duper advanced with it. You just have to do enough to get the job done. And he's good at that. Like his with punishment game, still some of the best. You know, his sweep is still amazing. Like his buttons and everything are still pretty amazing, to be honest. You know, and they sped up some of the moves and they slowed down some of the moves because they want to keep things in line and keep things in check. And, uh, you know, for what it's worth, his counter poke game is still good. You know, I do have some little gripes about his second record being like, well, I think it was like negative three or something like that. So it made it so that like your negative three leaves them at plus three, even though that they got hit on the second record. Now the other, the first record is like, I believe it was minus one, which is still a good situation to be in. So you can still kind of play this like one, 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 one type of game. And what I mean by that is like one button into a record, one button into record, far slash record, sweep record, you know, 5k record, you know, dash up 6p record. 5h you know, record and kind of play this or resho if you will just call record right but it's called resho but we call it records right and you can play this kind of game with them and it's kind of like a i bet you won't you know i bet you won't press the button boom counter hit boom and i put that in my uh, highlight reel you know counter hits from far slash in the record you know because the the further away you are the better it is for that negative situation right 
So like if you're tip ranging far slash reka reka and it's like boom boom and you're far out, you start playing off of their rhythm because that's what, like that's what I mean, right? Like this is what I say like strive is like a big counter hit game, and that's all those counter hits they're gonna add up and they're gonna eventually force people to make a silly mistake. They might burst. If you have the bar and you get the counter hit, like you could turn it into something big. Otherwise, you can just kind of sit on it. And I think that's one of the biggest things about him that makes him scary. And this comes back to the conditioning part. You condition people to sit there and take records. Maybe you do something that might seem a little risky and then they get hit. Then eventually they're just going to like give up, you know, they'll eventually give in and try to do like wake up DP, reversal in some situations and you punish them. And it's like his ability, like that's the thing. Chip's ability to bait things is still there, you know? Close slash is still an amazing button despite its speed, but the fact that you can jump cancel off of it is still pretty huge. So when people start like doing certain things, making themselves a little bit more vulnerable, you do like, I don't know, blah, 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 knock them down, jump at them, instant air dash back. And they're like, oh, I'm going to uppercut. And then they don't connect. And then you hit them and they have burst. They have two choices. They either take that combo or they burst, you know? So like, that's what I mean. Like, there are advantages to using chip and there are things about him that are still good. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I, I can't stress it enough. His overall strategy is still there. Not nothing in which strategy wise, like movement is still going to be his lifeline, you know, and it's a big lifeline in guilty gear in general, but like his triple jump is still deadly. You know, he's still the fastest character. He still has ways to throw people off. He still has ways to displace. He still has everything in my honest opinion he needs to win i just feel like they need to just round out his kit and just make him more complete is he complete now i think he is complete now more or less it's just the consistent the inconsistencies of combos because of run momentum the inconsistencies on anti-airing etc et like they just need to fix those things or if they don't fix those things and we as players need to find ways to make that that's that stuff work there's no and again i'm always gonna say it, it it's just it just get good if they leave it that way, that's what we got to do with it. If they don't, all right, then we can work around what they give us. But as far as I'm concerned, I think to end this off, because this did get a little long, I think he's good. I will always say this right now. They spent a lot of time on this character and it shows. They're, they have, you have to understand, right? Chip, if given the right buffs, right? Because the system already works for Chip. Let me just put it to you guys right now. His, the system works for Chip 100%. And it's something I've always said, you know, even in Xert, like, man, if they ever gave Chip FRC Gamma Blade, he'd be crazy. And they gave it to him in Xert because that's how that system works and he's ridiculous. And I feel like that's how it is right now. It's just people are not looking at his kid as a whole. You're looking at what other characters have and you're isolating what they have versus what Chip doesn't have. Or you're looking at what he used to have and you're isolating those things and saying that he should have this when it's like you have to look at the system for what it is and utilize the system. As I can, as, as, as far as I'm concerned, I think he's good. And within the system, he's going to be a monster. It's just going to take time. Like, it's not going to be as cut and dry and simple as like, oh, I pick soul or I pick Kai and like, okay, you know, they're kind of easy to get into characters. They do what they're supposed to do. And it's kind of, I won't even say bare bones, but like playing them well, won't be as difficult as playing chip. Well, you know, because of the HP differentials, you know, your combo differentials, you know, juggles, et cetera, et cetera. Like corner game you name it it's there you know but i can say for certain i believe even if he stays this way the future is still going to be bright for him because people will figure out ways and i'm going to be the definitely in the forefront trying to lead the way with his, his strategy like, like i said i'm always going to say it. i don't care about combos combos are going to come if you look at me and when you ask me in the comments or anything like that like why don't you come up with combos because there's like 900 other people that are trying to figure out those same those things like those same things I'll figure them out as I go and find out other things from, from other people. You know, that's also using your resources, right? But like, I would rather focus on strategy because strategy wins games. Combos help you kill your opponent. Strategy helps you win the game, you know? So it's no diss to any chip player or anything like that. I'm glad that we have, you know, a lot of people, you know, out there putting out good tech and good information about like his combos and how to like do damage. But, you know, I'm going to make sure I put out things to help us win you know what I'm saying? Win more consistently, win, you know, in certain situations, et cetera, et cetera. How ways, you know, ways that we can come out on top in bad situations. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I could go on and on and on as per usual, as I always say, but I feel like this is about it. There are some other things I would say, but we have another beta coming. So I kind of want to see what happens with it, but it's mostly 
based on his combo scheme i would say at the end of the day my only concern about him mostly was his combo schema not so much him you know not having said gatlings or anything like that nature i just want i want his combos to be a little bit more consistent i don't want him to be in counter hit state for millennia off air shuriken i'd like a little bit of adjustments on k alpha blade and alpha blade on the ground for p and air with p alpha blade as well or punch alpha blade if you will and uh really that's about it that's honestly about it i think everything else is fine there's no need for teleport yeah maybe some dash cancels on 6p and 5h uh just to add for more unique pressure and uh combos that's it i don't i don't i know some of that seemed a little long that might seem like a long wish list but like even if he got half of those things i'd be i'd be content or if he, or if he got none of those things and he still stayed the same i don't think that that would make him any worse to be honest because we'll we will eventually figure out ways to have more consistent combos despite you know how i feel about it you know because other people may feel indifferent they're like oh well nah man i got combos but as i said hitting a live opponent is different but we shall see we shall see let me go ahead and cut it here there was a lot to be said i know there's a lot to unpack i know you guys are kind of just sitting back like man finally he's put it out there so this is it this is this is the one uh beta 3 is somewhere around the corner we'll see how long it takes for that to happen when that does happen i will have more thoughts again i might release that one a little bit quicker because i think now that i put this out there i want to see what's going to happen now and i'll already have a good handle on him because now this time i'm going to practice my combos and see if i can land these things more consistently and uh yeah we'll see we'll just see where it goes we'll see where it goes guys i'm ranting here i'm ranting here and let me stop as per usual thank you guys for being here watching this video i do appreciate you guys you guys are awesome thank you guys for supporting the channel as much as you have obviously i'm gonna encourage you guys to you know share like comment subscribe all that other good stuff notification bell blah 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 housekeeping 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 uh all your support helps push me in this channel to places i never thought i'd ever get to if there are other points in which you want me to cover in terms of uh something i may have missed feel free to let me know in the comments below Maybe we'll, I'll make another one before the other beta comes out or I'll just wait till the other beta to happen. And when that rolls around, I can address that thing that you guys may have mentioned in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So go play more Guilty Gear. Hopefully you guys have uh, learned a little something from me. And uh, let's chit chat, let's talk about chat. Maybe I'll do a uh, response video to this, right? Maybe we can figure something out, right? Anyhow, take care in these COVID streets. Peace.